In this tutorial, we're going to take a brief look at how to edit on the iPad using iMovie. So you probably notice I have something that looks like an iPad on my MacBook Pro. It's actually just a mirror of what I have on my iPad. I'm using a program called Reflection. So you can get that in the App Store if you're using a Mac. So anyway, let's open up iMovie and we'll start a new project just to show you how easy it is to edit on the iPad. All right, so let's go back to uh, the beginning. Let's start a new project. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and do a new project. And I've got some existing uh, video of a house I shot the other day. So let's just use that uh, briefly. So I'm going to tap on what I want, hit the blue down arrow. That's going to put it into the timeline. Let's do the inside of the house, and maybe add one more. Uh, we'll do one more. Do the shower. And so now you can see where this red line is. That's the timeline. So when I click play, I can see how long it takes for it to play. Now typically on a house clip, I mean this one's kind of long, I'm going to want to trim it. So Usually I want a house, the front of a house clip to be maybe four or five seconds. That's pretty much with any clip I'm using in one of my property videos. So let's go back to the beginning, tap on the clip you want to edit, and I can drag, I can drag on it to make it, and I can see, if you look right above where it says My Project 4, it tells me how, how long the clip is, so I'm kind of dragging it. Right now it's 3.7 seconds, 4.6 seconds, and so let's make it around 4. So now when I go back and play it, it's going to go through the beginning of the house fairly quickly, which I want it to do. So again, I can, this clip is a little long, so I want to shorten it down. On the other option, I, if I want, I can split. I can split this. I just put the playhead where I want to split it, and I just run my finger down. Oh, I got to tap on it, and then run my finger straight down, and it'll split it into two. Now I can drag the piece I don't want into here, and you can watch it just disappear. So now this is I. I this is where I have the uh, the video. Okay. So let's say I want to add some music. I come over and click on the music. And let's pick out some theme music. And we'll just use Bright just to make it easy. So I just need to tap on it twice, and now I have the music in on the video. Now the other thing I can do is add a little intro clip. So here I can do title style, and I want this to be at the end. So you can see here I've got a little, and I'm double tapping to make things come up. Uh, I'll just put in sample house. And let's see. Now I'll hit play again, and you'll see that little title come along the bottom. You can put whatever you want there, the address to the property, features, you can do that on any clip. Uh, let's do one on the end of this video here. Do a title style. We'll do it on the. Yeah, we'll do it on the opening. And walk in. Oops. Walk in. Shower. So now that's going to show up in a different spot. on the side. Now, the other thing I can do is I can add a voice to a video. All I have to do is click on the little microphone over here and just click record. Notice the large family room with fireplace with built-ins for your TV. So now it's going to put that recording there. Oop, i got to accept it. Notice the large family room with fireplace with built-in, and that's my voice TV. there. 
believe I can move this around. So I can I can actually move this on the playhead also if I want to. Maybe I started it too early or came in too late. Uh, anyway, as you can see, iMovie is a very powerful program. Uh, what you will need to import your videos from your camera into the iPad is a, a card reader, which you can buy. I think I bought mine on Amazon for like $4, so it just plugs right into the bottom of the iPad. Very easy to do. Uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call at 602-405-0596. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.